Hey guys, welcome back to Sweet Magnolias. Today's video is going to be all about some essential oil recipes that you can use in and around your home. I'm a little late to the party on the whole uh, essential oil thing, but my mom actually got me a kit from Plant Therapy that is the cleaning kit. So I am so excited to start making myself some DIY home cleaners that are less toxic. Um, I'm really trying to transition our home into a more natural living lifestyle with less toxins and less parabens and things like that. So I'm really excited for that. I have used essential oils in the past prior to this. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the ways I use essential oils in my home already. And then we're going to go over some recipes for some new essential oil things that I'm incorporating into my home. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you find it helpful, please be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And please be sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Um, I post videos on lifestyle, homemaking, minimalism, things of that nature. So if that's something you are interested in, please be sure to subscribe before you leave. And let's get on into my essential oil recipes. that we're going to make is a DIY dusting spray with water, white vinegar, olive oil, and essential oil. And I'm using the lemon from Plant Therapy. So the first thing I start out with is adding a fourth a cup of white vinegar. And you just add this as your base ingredient. So the next thing that I'm going to add is 15 drops of the lemon essential oil and it really just depends on how much scent you want. The more you add, the more it smells. So here you're going to add 2 tablespoons of olive oil and that's what's going to give your dusting spray um, the ingredient that's going to help the wood shine and use it as a polish. So moving on to your fourth and final ingredient, you're going to add one full cup of water. And I will leave all the ingredients down below in the description box and also tag them on my blog so you can view this recipe for yourself. And I'm sure you guys saw me make a huge mess with that water, so I'm just going to wipe all of that up. And then I'm going to get my sprayer ready to put into the bottle so that I can start using my new dusting spray. Um, all of the bottles are um, amber glass and I got them from Amazon for like $16 for the whole pack. And it came with the pumps and the sprays as well. I just had to trim down the little pumps a little bit to make them fit. Now we're going to move on to the next recipe, which is a new one for me, which is DIY countertop spray. This seemed a tiny bit strange to me, um, but this recipe actually called for rubbing alcohol. Um, it was just a third of a cup, so I wasn't too concerned about it because it's going to be diluted with water a lot. Um, but I do consider rubbing alcohol to be somewhat toxic, so you may want to consider that before doing this recipe. The next thing it called for was a few drops of dish soap, so I'm just using the Mrs. Meyers Peppermint Scent Dish Soap. This one actually takes 50 drops of essential oil, 
So I used um, the Woolsey's brand orange essential oil and then I believe I threw in a little bit of lemon just to give it a really good citrus scent. Um, but it does take quite a bit of essential oil to make this recipe. before you're going to finish this recipe up with water and this one actually takes three cups of water and as you can see I'm making a humongous mess with the water. I did my best to keep it all in the jar but I think a lot of it fell out on the counter. added a little bit more essential oil and it, it is now done and just time to be shaken up. I feel like this spray really gets your countertops clean. Whereas when I've made it before, it hasn't felt as clean, but this really just does the job so well. So this DIY linen spray is so fresh. I wish I could get you guys to just smell it through the camera because it smells so fresh. But all you need for this one is just two teaspoons of witch hazel and 15 drops of lavender essential oil. And you're just going to finish it off with four ounces of water and then just shake it up and spray. Like I said, the scent on this is so amazing because of the lavender. Lavender is one of my favorite scents ever. So something else you can use in your cleaning routine with essential oils is you can add an essential oil of your choice to baking soda and use it for a carpet freshener. So I actually chose peppermint and add it a little bit to my baking soda and I'm going to sprinkle this on my rug before I vacuum and after I vacuum the whole room will smell like peppermint. Another hack that I think is really cool to remember is that you can add tea tree oil to your shampoo. So you can pick any type of shampoo that you want, put it in a separate bottle and add some drops of tea tree oil. And this is going to help with dandruff. If you have kids that are in school and you're worried about them getting lice, tea tree oil will actually help get rid of or ward off head lice. So there are a lot of good uses for tea tree oil in your shampoo. show you guys the diffuser that I have it's from Garanada and I'm going to show you also the oils that I usually diffuse um, I usually do lavender at night because the lavender it's just so relaxing and it helps you sleep so much better and then this is a winter green um, 
essential oil. It's from the Woolsey's brand, um, but it smells really nice. It smells like, well, it smells like spearmint gum pretty much, but both of these are very nice to diffuse at night when you're trying to relax. My husband really likes this one. I am in love with lavender. That's usually what I diffuse when he's not home because I just think it's so relaxing and so comforting. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you and I hope that you try some of these recipes in your own home. I am loving the new cleaning supplies and the witch hazel linen spray is so good. I wish you guys could smell it. You're just gonna have to try it because that witch hazel with the lavender makes my house smell so fresh. You've got to try that. It just smells so good. But anyways, I hope this was helpful to you and I hope you try them out. And if you do, be sure to let me know. Also, you can tag me on Instagram if you do try to make some of these on your own. And my handles are always down below. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.